Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here from Visualize NZ. So as we go along, I am working on ways to improve my setup for my temporary situation of needing to keep my leg elevated. So today I have kind of got my leg off to the side up on the wheelchair. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable, so we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, but I found yet yeah, after recording my previous video at the desk that my leg got quite sore and remained sore throughout the day uh, with having it down. So just got to be careful and um, really try and look after myself as much as I am super frustrated not to be, you know, able to do things. So I'm going to try doing a quick project. We will see how we go. Uh, this is a project inspired by Gail Agostinelli over on her channel. I was watching her video yesterday or the day before and really, really liked what she was doing. And I thought, I want to do this, but I'm doing it a little bit differently. First off, she used templates. Uh, I would make templates if I could get to all the things that I need, but I can't. So I'm just going to free, freehand it. That's my first difference. The second difference is she used gesso first, and again, I cannot get to my gesso, so I am going to use some house paint, white house paint. Now, this is actually enamel, so I'm a bit wary. It could be a bit shiny for what I intend to do. I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. It may not work. Now, the third difference is that Gail used acrylic paint to do the next layer, and once again, I cannot get to my supply of acrylic paints. I can get a couple of colours, but I know I'd be super bored with just a couple of colours. So I'm going to try using watercolour. And that's where I'm wondering that this paint may not work that well with watercolour. But as I said, we're just going to go with it and see what happens. So that's the changes that I'm working with, just because of my circumstances, not because I want to do it different to how Gail did it, although I don't think that's a bad thing, but just because I'm limited in what supplies I can actually reach. So first off, I'm going to put a bit of this paint. I'll shake it up first. I'm going to put a bit in this pottle lid here, which is I use as my paint palette. And I might water it down just a tad. We shall see. Because the idea is that you can still see the text through it. Um, that, wow, that's a real big paint goober right there. Um, can I reach a tissue without it falling in my lap or something? Because I don't really want that in there. Um, hang on a tick. And I can't just put it straight in my rubbish because the, I emptied my rubbish bottle. And so there's nothing there for it to... Oh, look at that. That's, like, gross. Ugh, that's full-on, like, you know, when you've had a bleeding nose and you get the clot come out. <laughs> Sorry about that imagery. If you... <laughs> you know, I'm just keeping it real over here. Um, that's what it reminded me of. Maybe you haven't had that, but I certainly have in my history. Do you know, I once had a bleeding, out, a bleeding nose for an hour and a quarter an hour and a quarter full-on bleeding nose it's when I was um I think either a preteen or a teenager it just would not stop and my mum rang the doctor and says well if it's still going in half an hour call us back and then it stopped like 15 minutes later finally I was like surely an hour and a quarter of a full-on like solid bleeding nose was cause for concern but no just call us back in half an hour if it hasn't stopped it's like goodness how long how long people but anyway never mind um that's the worst one i've ever had fortunately all right let's add a little bit of water uh, if i can get my spray bottle to work there we go just give that a wee mix around So this, what I'm making today, is basically another form of label. But it's a mixed media one, in that we are using a book page. We are using acrylic paint or gesso. 
and then acrylic paint for your next layer or in my case watercolor uh, and then stamping so I might have to pause in between if it's not dry enough to do the stamping um, portion right and now if I had templates they would just be like squares or label shapes or whatever cut out um, which side of the maybe this side because there's a bit more text and I'm just going to paint in some rectangles of different sizes and I don't care if they're not like perfect rectangles they're just going to be fun fun little bits and pieces okay I don't think that's too bad I can see the text through it I don't know if you can but I can see that the text is showing through right, maybe we'll do a bigger one down here So yeah, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I am just so, so thrilled to be able to do some videos, even if they're not my normal, uh, normal level, normal sort of setup. Um, at least I can do something. And that is, well, one, it's helping me not be bored because I'm getting a bit bored sitting on the couch watching YouTube and stuff. You know, when you're normal, you just hang out for a day where you all you have to do is watch TV, watch YouTube, whatever, you know, relax, read a book. That's what you want. That's all you want. You want just a day to relax. And then when you get that day, you know, or you get a few of those days in a row, it's like, oh, I just want to get back to work. I'm bored. And I don't take being bored very well. Uh, that's why I'm a creative, because I just create constantly, because like that's not boring that's fun and it's I'm never normally bored because there's always something I can do well at the moment I'm finding myself quite often bored because there's not a lot I can do and what I can do kind of gets a bit old after a while and I'm like looking for that something different and I just can't get to my stuff or it's too difficult or I haven't got enough space on the couch, you know, to put everything that I would want to use. You know, all those considerations, just life. Uh, so I'm taking the opportunity where I can to do a little something. And bringing you guys along for the ride. So I hope you enjoy these rather, I guess, rustic type of videos that aren't my normal... Um, level I guess although I've now got my second light back I got my husband to bring it out from storage where he'd popped it and we've arranged things so I can still get around in the wheelchair and it's not in the way and I've got that extra light source so hopefully the lighting is better in today's video um, I haven't got it quite set up in the same place so let me know if it's better or worse or okay you know let me know whether you think it's okay where it is I think it could possibly be better in some respects than where, where I used to have it um, but yeah do let me know if you think otherwise or if you want to confirm my thoughts that it might even be better than what it used to be like um, it does mean it's slightly in my view for TV if I'm sitting at my desk watching TV. Uh, so probably it won't stay where it is. But, you know, once I'm back to normal, if where I've got it is a better position for you, let me know because I can easily move it to and from once I'm, you know, fully mobile. And at the moment, I'm not watching TV from my desk because I can't sit here that long. So it will stay there for, well, till I'm back on my feet, I guess at least right so I'm actually super happy with that so far I can see the text through it um, it's doing what I want my only query is whether the watercolor is going to react well or not and it may not okay let's do some more because that needs time to dry let's try a different color page this is from a super old um, like 
preteen or teen book. It's very crunchy, soft paper. Does that work? Crunchy and soft? Well, it's kind of true. It's soft in that it's quite fragile, but it's also crunchy. It makes a nice crunchy sound when you tear it. And I might have to blow my nose. Gosh, as soon as I'm back to videoing, my nose starts running. What's that about? Does that happen to anybody else when you start talking, your nose starts running? It's just bizarre. So I am trying to be reasonably neat with my rectangles. Let's make a big one. Down here. So yeah, I hope this paint works with the watercolour. I don't want the watercolour just to rub off the top of the paint. But we'll see. In the name of experimentation. It's all good to do a bit of experimenting. So what are you guys up to? Tell me. Let me live vicariously through what you guys are doing. What is on your crafting desk? What have you been making recently? Uh... Have you been able to craft every day or most days? Like, make me jealous. Come on, I dare you. Make me jealous. And please excuse me. I do need to take care of my nose for a moment. So, sorry about that. Just one of those facts of life. Right, I'm trying not to put the paint on too thick so that I still get that text peeping through and that's uh, I also watered it down not just for the see-through factor but also to try and take away some of the like maybe glossy factor of the paint it is a water enamel not a um, enamel enamel if that makes sense so I'm hoping it will be okay Right, okay, how are we going? So that one's obviously wet. Is this one? It's still a little wet, so maybe we'll go and we'll try this third paper. So I grabbed out a couple of pages of the same book, and then I've just got this one of this other book. Um, so maybe we'll do this one up as well. Why not? Because we need that drying time. And different size text, slightly different coloured papers. Maybe we'll do a, like a long, well actually no, do a wide one and then I'll do a long one on this page. So I didn't try this out beforehand, so you're coming along on this journey with me. And we'll both see, or all see, uh, whether it works. Now I'm thinking, have I got a long stamp that I can use on a tall one? Hopefully. You can always layer them up anyway can always do something. I want to make it a bit wider, maybe a bit wider. And it doesn't need to be perfect at all. I am a bit of a perfectionist, so I tend to try and make things perfect, even when I say that they don't need to be perfect. Um, I can't help myself most of the time. I just got to try and, you know, like that's not quite square, so I go back in and tidy it up, even though it doesn't actually need to be. So, you know, 
if you're a perfectionist then go for it if you're not then you do it more rustic and and you know do you make it your own maybe you're doing this little little one here this is a book about the Aegean Sea um, and the land and the sea and all the history and everything. I haven't read it. I just got it because it's an old book with cool paper. And it's got some really nice um, old black and white photographs in it as well. Unfortunately, it's not old enough to scan, so I can't do that, but... I can use use the originals in something. Let's make a bigger one down here. And I'm just doing the text area. I'm not doing the edges. The edges will be um, torn off and they'll be used for stamping on. Nothing will, well, very little will be wasted. There you go, and we've got room for one more down here. Actually, it's, I think it's quite good not using a template in that you can make use of all the space rather than have bits in between. Um, like, obviously, you've still got lines in between, but, you know, if you're using a die cut to, or a punch to punch out your template, then you will, there's areas that you can't get to. So there's areas that then when you tape it down on your page that you can't, create labels in. Although having little scraps of book page is not a bad thing either when you tear out your labels. Right, okay, I think that should be good. So I'm just going to pop my brush in water, close up my paint because I forgot to do it earlier after taking care of that big paint goober. Oh, come on, get on there. There we go. Okay, let's clean up the little painty trash. Have a sip of my cup of coffee. I'm using a travel thermo mug uh, to make my drinks in because I can go into the kitchen in a wheelchair and then make my drink and then pop it between my legs to wheel myself back to the couch. And it's working quite well because it's got the little closer lid, of course. And it keeps my drinks really super warm. So Lydia, if you're watching this, one of these types of thermo mugs may be ideal for you. Uh, so that when you get to the end of your video, it's still warm enough to drink. Right, this, this cup is actually one I got on cruise that my husband and I went on a few years back. Right, so let's pop that one aside to dry. Whoops, not under the plastic, that's not going to help it dry. And I think this is okay to go. So let's get out our watercolours. Just the wee set. I could grab out my bigger set, but I'm just going to go with the smaller set. Um, give it a spritz of water. It's quite warm in here with the fire going, so it's probably going to dry out before I get to use it too much. That's okay. Grab a water brush. I love water brushes, they are so convenient. And don't need the lid now. And what colour do I want to start off with? Um, let's go with this darker yellow. And I'm going to go in and just add in colour around the edges and then drag it into the middle. And sort of blend it out a little bit and the idea is that you still have the white in the middle gosh i've got ended up with a lot of color i need what do i need a tissue or something to take a bit of the color off the brush because i don't don't need quite that much color and i think this is because it's on the acrylic paint 
the house paint that it's moving around more. So I'm not going to end up with much white in the middle, but never mind. It's still still got a little touch of white. Still interesting. Let's do another one in this colour. So I'm going to take less colour this time. Let's do this one down here. it's a bigger space so you end up needing more paint so there we go um, so we've got that white center and we've got the color around the edge so that's what we're trying to achieve now let's do a red So I'm finding this fun process, like just playing with supplies, it's fun. And I'm not worried about going over the edge of the white because I'm going to tear these out. I find it much easier to, to spin my paper around when I'm doing things, painting or whatever. It's just more natural than try to work the same way up all the time. So the test will be whether this rubs off of the acrylic paint. I just need to darken that a little bit. And just paint until you're happy with it. Little or lot. You could cover the whole thing in the colour if you don't want the white middle. This is being a bit streaky than what I wanted, um, actually. If I can get to them. Let's try a little makeup sponge, which is what Gail used with the paint. And maybe we'll get a... kind of softer effect. Okay, so put it on with the brush and then I'd forgotten about the makeup sponge actually. I don't want to use a makeup sponge for each colour though. Um, so we'll just see what happens. Yeah, it definitely gives it a softer more blended look doesn't it I love that that's cool okay now shall we do what shall we do a green one why not let's try a green one this lovely dark foresty green I think the yellow worked with the brush because it's a paler colour so you don't see the, um, the brush marks so much. Right, let's drag it into the middle a little bit. A little bit more colour. So just trying to use a different place on my sponge. Oh, and our firewood is just arriving. We've got a new load of firewood this week and they're just driving up the driveway now. So obviously I can't go out and say hello because I can't get out there. Not by myself. It takes quite an effort and equipment and my husband's help to get me out there outside, which is always an adventure when we have to go to a, an appointment at the hospital or something. 
but it's temporary it will get better we're almost halfway through my six weeks of non-weight bearing here we go how about we add a bit of light green to that let's do two colors see how it goes just for fun and maybe not all the way around maybe just in spots oh yes that's fun I like that it gives it a bit of liveliness maybe a bit down here as well oh yes I really like that that is fun okay so that page is done pop it aside to dry and I'm not going to test it yet to see whether it's going to rub off because um yeah let's give it a chance to kind of settle in dry and then we can test it okay let's do some blue some nice deep blue be careful with this or I might have no white in the middle and what if I put a bit of purple now I don't have purple on this little palette but I do have some gouache I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but there's just a little blob of purple gauche, 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 Ugh, I hate that word, it's just, I never know how to pronounce it, even when I hear someone say it, it's like, what was that again, let's do a half purple, half blue, I'm really getting experimental now, aren't I, because I'm having fun. And my leg so far is okay up on its wheelchair support. Oh yes, I like that as well. Isn't that pretty? Oh, do like. And this G paint, let's just call it the G paint, um, may actually do better on the acrylic because it's permanent when it's dry as opposed to the watercolour which is still reactivatable, if that's a word. Okay, I might do this whole one purple because I think that's such a pretty colour. And I'm just kind of doing diagonals. Because I think dragging it out with a sponge is actually um, just enough to get it into those other corners and not be too too heavy oh I'm super happy with that it's so pretty okay another sip of my coffee and do we want to do a neutral like let's try this um, sort of ochery brown sort of quite goldy and this is quite a big one so we probably need more colour yep they're tipping the wood out now you can hear it all falling off the trailer So we were very blessed with this load of firewood. Um, my husband's parents uh, messaged us and says, can they buy us some wood? Which is very, very kind and ex we're extremely grateful for because it's like $300 for a, a one load of wood. It's not cheap. And we go through, um, if we're really cutting it down and I'm not home a lot then we can use like seven loads in a year um, on a really really cold year we can use like up to 12 13 loads that's an awful lot of money 
so when we when they asked if they could buy us lot of wood it was like oh thank you so much yes please You know, I love my house. It's an old house. It was 103 years old now. Um, has next to no insulation. It's got lots of drafts and gaps and, you know, all those things. I love it to bits, but it is a cold house. So, it, you know, and we don't have electrical heat apart from my new heater in my office. Can I say that word any worse? Office. It's quite an easy word to say, isn't it? But I made a meal of it. Hey, Georgie. Haven't seen you all morning, darling. Georgie's finally come in. He didn't turn up for breakfast this morning. Right. I think I want to add a bit more to that. It's kind of a bit, a bit subtle. So maybe we'll go in with the darker brown. And there they go, leaving. Drop the wood and they're out. It doesn't take them long. It's one of those um, hydraulic type trailers. Just, yeah, just give it a bit more depth, I think. Just bringing in that darker brown. Oops. Brush going for a roll. Yeah, that's making me happier. And my nose. Gosh, I need to deal with my nose again. Right, that's that's better. That gives it more more oomph, I guess. Ah, oh, sorry about my silly nose. Right, so pop that one aside to dry and we've got one more sheet so we might as well go ahead and do that as well. What colour would we like on this one? I'm thinking we might do some of this dark brown just to see what it looks like. And maybe on the little label down here. I didn't even check to see if the paint was dry, but never mind. I'm guessing it is. On these smaller ones, it's definitely harder to keep the white centre. Right, yep, that's reasonably subtle, but I'm happy with that one. Uh, let's go, we used that red, hopefully that's on camera, used this red before. So let's use this red, which I think is more of a pinky red from memory. Or actually quite pink. Quite pink, which is cool. Oh, that's pretty. Do like that. Okay, Georgie. You're not talking to me. Looks like he wants to settle down and sleep. Must have been a hard morning. You've been up to high jinks, Georgie. Hey. Oh, yes, that's pretty. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> and a bit froggy. Okay, let's do this long one in this pink as well. Because it makes my eyes happy. I don't know where the song came from. I'm not a good singer, so I won't uh, subject you to that too often, I would hope. 
you want a music put a music video on <laughs> if you want crafting video put my channel on Oh, that's so pretty. just want to give that kind of a more defined edge in spots. Because we've got more defined edge on the other side. Ah, <sighs> you know what? I'm going to do another one. Because I love it. So maybe... This time I'm going to go right around the edge, like so. Oh yes, beautiful, love it. Okay, let's do another colour. Um, I can't remember which blue we used. I think we used this one, so maybe we'll use this one. Doesn't matter if it's the same one as we've already used. Again, I think I'm going to go right around the outside on this one. So, and oops, the paint is drying. Oops, and I got some on the pink. That's another benefit of using the templates, is you probably don't risk contaminating the ones beside it so much. Um but that's okay. I don't mind a bit of blue. Maybe we'll just add a, if it's going to come off, maybe we'll just add, you know, a couple of other spots of blue. Around. Just trying to pick some up off the brush. So it doesn't look accidental. It looks kind of like it was supposed to. And I like that as well. Just that tiny little touch of blue on that one. Cool. Okay, and let's do this last one the same. Uh, maybe we'll do two colours on this one. So do this blue. And let's do green. And just blending together the blue and the green at each end a little bit. Ah, oh, that's fun as well. Cool. Okay, we have coloured them all in now. Just going to clean off my brush a bit. Right, that's done. Pick that up. How are we doing for time? Oh, it's turning into quite a reasonable length video. Okay, my leg's still okay at the moment, so let's press on. And which one did we do first? This one, wasn't it? You know what? I think it's actually okay. Yay! Yay! It works, guys. It works. I'm super happy about that. Okay. What I didn't grab out was my stamping stuff. I got my stamps out, but I didn't grab out my ink pad or an acrylic block. So now we've done that, 
let us choose some stamps to work with. Now, I am going to be working on a mouse-themed journal soon. It's for a design team project for a new design team that I'm on, um, which I'll do another video about soon. But I was thinking, I haven't actually used this stamp, that we could do one of these. I want it. What colours are in the kit? kind of not really big enough there is it or we could do this mouse but then the text would be sideways which I'm generally not too worried about but so maybe we'll just do this on the red so it's just a matter of finding what stamps you want to use and popping them in the middle and stamping them easy peasy Gonna make sure it sticks on those layers of paint. I am using my Versafine um, archival ink, which is permanent when it's dry. Ah, oh, that's cute. Yes. Sometimes I think, why have I never used some of my stamps before? Just gonna grab out a baby wipe so I can clean the stamp off opening a new pack because my other pack is over on the couch found them very useful for like when I have an orange or something for washing my hands without having to make a special trip to the bathroom to do so because you know that's quite an effort when you're in a wheelchair so glad it's temporary <laughs> I really am okay so there we've got cute little mousy And do we want to use this other mouse? I have used this other mouse before. Mouse holding a bouquet of flowers. Um, we need to find one that's big enough to hold him. Too narrow. No. No. Oh. Fits on that one. Let's put them on that one. Or her. Whichever. Not sure. It's a mouse. It. Is it okay to call it an it? Because it's a mouse. And this will give me two labels to use in the upcoming project. You better not forget them. Oops, hang on, I'll just pop you on pause. Uh, so, sorry about that, guys. Um, I just had a wee visitor. Um, it entered my brain briefly before I turned the video on that I should let my husband know that I'm going to be recording. So I've got the phone on, do not disturb. Anyway, I didn't follow my intuition. And apparently he's been trying to get hold of me and he got worried because I wasn't responding. So he sent our pastor around to see whether I was okay. And I can't talk without laughing. So I just had a little impromptu visit um, just to check that I was still alive and kicking. <laughs> and yeah, so that puts, that's what that was about. My oops, I, sh I should have just taken a moment to let my husband know that I was going to be recording a video. But it was nice to see my pastor as well. So that's all good. Ah, oh, dearie me. Right, he knew I was wanting to try and do a video. So he should have guessed. But I'm guessing that, you know, given that I can't do much and then I'm stuck in a wheelchair and stuff, that he just got worried that I'd fallen again. Because I've already fallen before. Um, yeah, he just got worried. So, anyway, crisis averted, we're all safe, we're all good, and I'm back recording again. So, there's the amusement for the day. Something to write about for my journal in today's entry, isn't it? Okay, so I just stamped a dragonfly there while I was busy talking. Um, what else might I want? I think they're all a bit small for those. 
I'm wondering about my new... No, it's way too tall. Way too tall. But I could do part of it. Like that much. Let's do that. Or the scissors. <gasps> the scissors are perfect. Let's do the scissors. I haven't used the scissors. So let's do those. So I do apologise for having to put you on pause in a hurry there. Because I could hear him trying to come through the door. And it was like, you know, because the doors are left unlocked. So that if there is a problem, uh, people can get in to help me. Or if I have visitors, because I can't get to the front door to open it. Um, do I want it slightly so? No, I think I want it straight up and down. Um, so yeah, so the doors were left open and it was like, oh, who's this? I've got a visitor. Didn't know who it was until I heard him call out. And it was like, oh, hi, Steve. That's our pastor. Good to hear from him. Good to see him. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that. That is a really nice stamp. Lovely. And it fits beautifully. Does it fit? No, it's slightly too long for that one. Um, okay. What else do we want to play with? Could do another sewing. Oh, how about that one? Little needle label. Needle package label. Let me go on that one. So I'm trying out some of my new stamps, which is fun. Oh, I'm really happy with those scissors, though. I think they are so pretty. So that is perfect for that one, size-wise. The only downside to having a visit from my pastor is that he was actually due... To have a meeting two minutes from when my husband rang him and um, so he had to at short notice cancel that meeting oops that one didn't stamp so well but it's okay you can actually still read it um, and I think it's probably because I just didn't pay enough attention to inking and stamping but that's okay I can still use that I think it still looks good right <clears throat> Right, what else do we want? I'm looking for something that will, you know, fill up the, or oh, maybe these birds. This is a stamp set from a magazine. And I just bought the stamp set separately, so I, I don't have the magazine that it was attached to. Uh, but it was Papercraft Inspirations. I don't want to put it on top of that in case I smudge the stamping. These ones are very sticky to get off. And I'm not sure that I've used this stamp. I can't remember. Looks fairly clean. Oh, come on. There we go, got it. These cute little birds. Or maybe it's a little bit small, but never mind, we're going to go with it. Doesn't have to fill the whole frame. Just can be in the whitish bit in the middle. Alright, I'll give it a little bit longer just to sit there because I don't think I've used it before. A little sip of my coffee. A wipe of my nose because you need to know all this information, don't you? <laughs> right, I'm really starting to feel my foot uh, feel a bit weird and funny. So I think I'm ending, coming towards the end of my tolerance level for sitting at my desk. But, along with the pause in the middle from my visitor, I've probably been sitting here an hour, which is actually quite encouraging. Uh, because normally I like to do my videos 
you know try not to do them too much longer than they are so if i can manage an hour long video sitting here without too many repercussions we shall see how it goes for the rest of the day then that's actually a really positive thing that means i can perhaps do sort of more normal videos maybe we shall see now i'm wanting something sort of lengthways for this one i'm not sure if i've got exactly what i'm after um although we could try doing something a bit tricky why not so i'm just grabbing a stamp out from another set it's another magazine set um also from Papercraft Inspirations. It's another flower. So sorry, I'm off camera. Oh, so hard to get. It's a flower, but I'm thinking about doing it sideways. Like that. Will that work? Mm, it's actually a little bit wide. Although it doesn't matter if I end up chopping off the leaf. So let's go with it. And I could put it vertical if I wanted and just have the text underneath going sideways. I'm not adverse to that. Oh, actually I got it. I got the leaf in and missed slightly the petal, but that's okay. That's okay. So I think that actually works both vertical and sideways. I think that's pretty. Okay, so I think I better stop there and do the last step because I don't want to end up, you know, having a lot of pain all day. And we'll see. I might have anyway. I might have pushed my limits a bit far, you know, because often when you start to feel uncomfortable, it's already too late. So let's do the last step, and that's tearing these out. So you could use decorative edge scissors. Um, you could cut them out. Just whatever. And I'm just using the text. Rather than use my painted edges as a guide, I'm using the text on the page because my rectangles are not sort of super even. Uh, stamping strips. Uh, probably need to do this one uh, need to line it up so I can see what I'm that I'm actually doing it straightish. And then back to using the text like so and there we go we have a cute little label to decorate something with aren't they fun they are so pretty i am really really happy with how they've turned out i am thrilled that the uh, watercolor paint worked over top of the acrylic paint acrylic enamel and just with in general how they look i think they are so pretty i'm going to be doing more of these for sure um probably not until i'm sort of back to normal but that will come isn't that cute oh my gosh so cute okay let's do this page and then i'll call that a video Um, just trying to work out how to tear these the best way. Right, go on. so silent, aren't I? Haven't I? I'm concentrating on getting these done and not jibbery jabbering.
so much. Oops, I think that moved on me a little bit. Never mind. They don't need to be super straight. They really don't. They're just handmade labels. So however they turn out is just unique to you and uniquely handmade, handcrafted pieces of fun ephemera. Oh, isn't that super pretty? Ah, love it. Love it, love it. Thank you, Gail, for this awesome idea. Not something I had seen before. So, love them. They are beautiful. And I do like watercolour anyway. So the delicateness of the colours. Really pretty. Lots of stamping strips being made here. Awesome, we're almost there guys. Just one last one to take out uh, of this page. I even remembered to bring my rubbish bottle back across from the couch for this video. Didn't I do well? Otherwise, I'd have a pile of rubbish mounting on my desk, running around. Okay, so there's our one page of little coloured, painted and stamped labels on book page. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. And then we've got the one we did over here with our wee mouse. And then we've got this page that we haven't stamped on as well. So I've still got some to work on. But I think for me, it's time to say goodbye and to head back to the couch and put this leg up properly. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you were inspired by this project. Give it a go. It is so much fun. And the results, I think, are super pretty. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.